everyone, Angels Calamity here, and I'm back with more Dream Daddy. Uh, sorry I've been gone so long. This is Dream Daddy Part 3, and I've been sick as hell. I had strep throat again. It was in my sinuses. I'm still recovering from it, but I don't want to make you guys wait any longer. So as long as you can deal with my occasional sickness, excuse me, <coughs> we're going to just keep right going. This is not where we were. Not at all. And I had to go back and look at my video to uh, remember that dude's voice. So let me get where we were. Alright, she's still looking pretty baked. Now we can go unpack or go take a nap. I don't know. Unpacking sounds like a lot of work. Napping sounds better. But we probably should unpack. Let's, let's be productive. Let's go unpack. We should head home. I'm going to need four hours minimum to figure out how to build my new bed. And I'd like not to have to sleep on the floor tonight. We could sleep in somebody else's bed tonight. <laughs> it's rude to ask people about their mysterious hand tattoos. What? Try to. Is it rude to ask about mysterious hand tattoos? Because if I see a mysterious hand tattoo, that's the first thing I'm gonna do is ask about it. Is that? People out there, do you have mysterious hand tattoos? I need demographic to actually ask if it's rude to ask about your mysterious hand tattoos. I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer-dryer unit is both washing and drying, and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. Yay! We got a visitor. First visitor already. I walk over the door and open it. Hello? A handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Okay, I know he's, like, super-duper handsome, but he also looks like the bad guy, like, if he, in a movie. He's just too perfect. Hell. Hello? <laughs> oh, where are my manners? My name's Joseph. I'm your next-door neighbor. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Loki. That's what my name is. I have a crush already. I don't want to have a crush. He seems like the bad guy. I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter, Christy. I almost said Christine. and It, it is Christy? Okay. My daughter, Christy, wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers. <laughs> but between me and you... <clears throat> but between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> we both share a laugh. Kids, right? Oh. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. I see no cookies. Stay away from my daughter. Look at that look. He's up to something. I don't trust you. Oh. Mmm, dots. Oh. Well, thanks for the cookies. More McDonald's. Amanda disappears with the cookies. That'd be me. I'd just come in and get my cookies and let my gay dad be gay with the weird, creepy neighbor, neighbor gay guy. Oh. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Oh. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. <laughs> Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. Oh. I have four kids. The look on his face. He's like, mm hmm. Four children. That's me, Mr. Four Children Gay Dad. Mm hmm. What have you done? Oh, uh. Oh. I meant. Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin. No, it's not. We met the dude at the dog park. That's our neighbor. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh. Is the missus around? Mr. Actually, uh, uh, no, not anymore. He died. Oh. Hmm? Oh. Ah, yeah. uh, now it's his turn. I I'm so sorry for your loss. No, no, it it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Oh. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? Um, maybe. I look at Joseph, Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Open it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. <laughs> Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? See, just look at that face. He's like villain. 
Am I the only one that gets villain vibes from this guy? That sounds great. My daughter and Aman Amanda and I would love to stop by. Good recovery. Also, four kids is a perfect, perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. shop on Saturday. I don't know what accent. I'm just... I don't even know anymore. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Uh. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Dad jokes on dads. We have reached a new level, level of dad jokeitude. We have reached the apex of dad jokes. You are far too gay and far too villainous and far too handsome to be calling yourself a youth minister, sir. I'm on to you. You are just villain material. Yeah. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. Oh, winky winky face. And with that, Joseph's gone. He's, he seemed nice. Amanda walks back in the living room, crumbs on her face and a cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recover, I guess. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? Aww. They're gone. I'm sorry. You monster frisbee. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. Then why'd you eat them all? Rude. I would be so hurt. I'd be like, really, child? Get out. Get out of my house right now. You walk your happy ass down the store and go buy your daddy some more cookies. So you ate all of them anyway? <laughs> he, yes. Yes, she did. I guess that makes it break time. No, she already ate the cookies. Her fat ass can go back to work. Any ideas? Joseph probably wants his plate back. No, I guess we get to go see Joseph. Hmm. Joseph. Oh. I think we can get a ton of good neighbor points if we bring his... I think we can get a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this back. We're gonna be the best neighbors in this whole cul-de-sac. We're gonna kick all the other neighbors' butts. With kindness. Amanda and I step outside. It is far too much work to be that kind all the time. Shoot, I'm actually not sure which house is his. Well, maybe we should have asked that. I'd hazard to guess it's a big one with all the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. And remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. We walk up to the kids and wave. Hello. Oh, why I don't like them. They are creepy, and I just do not like them at all. Hey guys, is your dad around? What's with the twins? I don't... Just... Can we just not look at them anymore? They look like they're trying to eat my soul. They must know I'm a god. They all just stare at us blankly. We just wanted to, uh... Return this nice plate and thank you for the cookies. Jeez, these definitely are Joseph's kids. They all look exactly like him. Mm, she made the cookies. I'm glad I didn't eat any now. They were really good. Yep. That's, um... I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. I don't like... I like Chris. Chris seems less murderous. I chuckle nervously. <laughs> well, okay, we're just gonna set this plate down on the ground real gentle and then back away slowly, right, Dad? Right, that's what we're gonna do. The kids' eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I can feel their gaze on my back even as we approach our house. Just do not like. Zero out of ten. Bad experience. We're never going back. We're not going to your barbecue. I need something to get my mind off those carbon copy kids. I need to rest my eyes. Yeah, it's nap time. You've been awake for, what, three hours? And that's three hours too many. Same. Same. <sighs> as we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Oh, God. Loki, bro! I don't know who it is. Hey. I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Hey! Hi! Craig? Oh. Bro. Ah. Bro. I gotta get him a voice, too. Uh, my, I'm afraid my voice is gonna start sounding too much alike. 
Uh, bro, I need... Oh, should he be, like, really gay? Should he be, like, the gay guy? Should that be him? That's gonna be Craig, I think. I don't know. His voice is subject to change, but right now, this is Craig. Bro. Oh. Holy wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. It's... It's been too long, dude. I don't know. I, I kind of... I need a better voice for him. It's been... Let me let me try out some here. It's been too long, dude. It's been too long, dude. Like that? No, maybe like a... Maybe like a bra. Like a surfer. It's been too long, dude. Dude. Bruh. I don't know. You know what? Whatever voice I pick, it's just gonna have to do... You know, let me know which one you guys like better down below, okay? Are we gonna have... It's been too long. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, mm. we gonna have the gay Craig that is just like stereotypical gay, which might be offensive. If it is, I am super duper sorry. Or are we gonna have like chaw surfer dude Craig? It's been too long, dude. I'm gonna go with surfer dude Craig for now. Chaw. Yeah, wow, you look great. Bro. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. <laughs> Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. <laughs> Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. <laughs> <laughs> hello, and hello, cute baby. Mm. Oh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I, I think you were about her size. Aw, she's adorable. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. Riv River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Huh. Nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we were rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Hmm. I was working out in California. Okay, the voice, the, the surfer dude voice has got to stay then. California. And just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding, Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? Oh. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. I don't know. She actually still goes by Smashley, and uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Twins? You have three kids? Oh. Ain't life something, brah? All right. Keg Stan Craig is a father of three. Hmm. Keg Stan Craig? Oh, oh ha, yeah, as on my old college nickname. Ha, ha. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. Really? I figured that was implied. Nice. Is that the thing where you do a handstand on a keg and drink from the keg? Oh. It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Ah. Right. He was very good at it. Ah, hmm. oh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily do jog, and I really gotta keep up my, keep up my heart rate. I brought River along for you know resistance training. <laughs> you you jog daily. I jog yearly. Never. On January first, when I promise myself that I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year, but I give up after thirty minutes and just walk home. Same. Actually, no, not same, because not at all. I don't even try. Oh. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Yeah. <laughs> cha. <Yeah. laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no. Dude. Come on, it'll be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards. You know, catch up. We could do a bro brunch like the good old days. He is so handsome, though. All right, sure. Sounds great. Great, let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives us a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig just ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Hmm. Why is that? The Craig I knew was not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Gross. Amanda, he opened a new jar of marinara sauce, and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy, and then I asked him what the hell he was doing, and he said, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie, bro. Gross. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. 
He's like a total. <clears throat> He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. <laughs> Liquor before beef. You're in the clear. Did that say beef or beer? Amanda and I flop down on the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Yeah. Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Huh? Aw, oh, Dad, it's going to be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just, you're my little girl. It's going to be weird not having you around. Huh. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day, and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Huh. Of course. Are you going to be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Yes. A dog? Ah. Forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's going to take? Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around the neck, I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Amanda laughs. Oh. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. Speaking of college... Amanda darts over the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls out one out and throws the rest back on the floor. <laughs> this is from McGuane... McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it. Mm. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. <sighs> yeah, but it's like my entire future. Not a big deal. Huh. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but okay. Mm. I hold my breath while Amanda eyes dart back and forth scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application, blah, blah, blah. Um, we... Aww. Her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. Aww. Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. Aww. It's okay, I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much you work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is going to want to snatch you up for sure. Hmm. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine, or are you just saying that? Hmm. I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Oh. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R. and Emma P. are sleeping over tonight. Ugh. So... You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. I would choose a more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. Do we? Do we have plans? <laughs> yeah, what are your plans? Quick, think of plans. Um, okay. I am secretly the mayor of this town. I gotta attend a union meeting, or I'm going clubbing. Um... I really want to answer that I'm the mayor of this town, but I also really want to answer that I'm going clubbing, clubbing because Loki seems like the kind of guy that'd go to a club. Mm. Mm. Eh. Mm. I'm going to go club. We're going to go clubbing. I'm going to put on a nice outfit and go tear it up on the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves. The lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man. You know, all the ones the kids these days are doing. Hmm? All right, but I'm not going to come pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Aw, I want to go club. Go to bed. Go out and watch the game. We're going to go out and watch the game because just going to bed is lame. Nice. Hmm. Which game? You know, the game. The one that's on tonight. <gasps> the game on TV at somewhere other than here. Huh. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm going to do drugs and commit some light arson with the Emmas. Cool. I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Amanda shrugs. Only light arson? Come on, if you're going to arson, you're going to... No daughter of my mine is just going to do drugs casually and light arson. Come on now. I would have expected you guys to be up to the white-collar crime at this point. Maybe money laundering at the least. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm a street rat, Pops. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? 
<sighs> yes, Dad. Just making sure. Yeah. I give her a pat on the head. Have fun with your sports. Oh, wrong voice. Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? Aww. No, I'm making fun of sports is played out. <laughs> All right, then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Oh, right, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Cool. Meeting. Minimize eating fried food, candy, and sweets. Eh. Well, I guess I really didn't think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is, and Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone, so I'm just going to pick a direction and walk in it. And this is where we're going to leave this episode. Our poor Asgardian god dad that is lonely and needs to find his other half is left wandering the streets alone, unable to use his GPS on his phone. Looking for a bar so we can find a hookup, maybe. But anyway, this has been Angel's Calamity. Thanks for watching. This is Dream Daddy Part 3, I believe. Yes, maybe. My brain is dead. I'm going to go take some more medicine and get something to eat. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.